this video, I will provide step-by-step -step instruction on how to interrogate an Abbott CRT device using a Merlin 3650 programmer. Programming changes should never be made without the presence and guidance of a healthcare provider or certified Abbott employee. Step one, power on the programmer. Plug in the power cord, press the on-off toggle on the left side of the programmer. Step two, establish a connection with the device. Place the wand over the patient's device. Press the interrogate button on the right-hand side of the programmer screen. The programmer will begin to load the device software. The upper right-hand corner of the screen will note the progress. Step three, review the fast path summary. This home screen will provide an overview of diagnostic information. Assess the patient's rhythm at the top of the screen. In the live EGM display, make note of the signals and markers present. Assess the battery voltage and longevity estimate, as well as the charge time and the date of last full charge, if it's a CRTD. Evaluate the automatic test results denoted by the presence of a green A in the measurement box measured by the device upon interrogation. Note that any box outlined in red either does not meet the safety margin or is outside the acceptable measurement range. Assess the program pacing parameters, including mode, base rate, and program pacing output. Assess the program tachycardia therapy zones and treatments, if CRTD. Assess the VTVF episode overview, if CRTD. Assess pacing percentages and AMS, auto mode switch, percentages and episode count. Assess alerts, if any, by clicking on the red alert box on the left-hand side of the screen. Step four, perform necessary manual testing only in the presence of a healthcare provider or certified Abbott employee. Press the test tab on the right side of the screen. The capture and sense tab will open first. Complete any necessary tests that have not been automatically performed. Press any box that is noted not performed to open the manual testing screen. Make the appropriate settings adjustments per the recommendation of the present healthcare provider or certified Abbott employee. Press the start test button or hold the button as directed for manual threshold testing. For automatic testing, the test will end once the data point is collected. For manual testing, test will end once you visually obtain the measurement and release the button. You can cancel a test at any time by pressing the yellow cancel test button. No data will be recorded. After the test is completed, a freeze capture of the EGM will be displayed. Note any trend data provided on the right side of the screen. Permanent programming changes can be made to each setting directly from this test result screen only in the presence of a healthcare professional or certified Abbott employee by choosing the desired setting and clicking the green program button. Press X to close the screen and return to the tests page. Any measurements obtained during testing will be recorded. Repeat this process for any necessary testing that was not automatically performed upon interrogation. Press the battery and leads tab at the top of the screen to perform lead impedance testing if necessary. Choose the desired lead for testing and press the update button. This test will run automatically and the measurement will be displayed. Repeat for all necessary leads. Be sure to check the high voltage lead impedance as well if the device is a CRTD. Press the CRT toolkit tab that is located at the top of the screen to access the tools that aid in CRT optimization. To perform quick op timing cycle optimization, press the Perform Quick Opt button. This algorithm will run four tests, collecting rhythm measurements to propose optimal settings for the AV and V2V delays parameters. The test will run automatically, temporarily changing the mode, base rate, and AV delays, and will take about one minute to complete. The test can be canceled at any time using the blue Cancel Test button. A green check mark will appear to the left of the measurements that were obtained successfully, while a red X will appear to the left of the measurements that were not successfully obtained. If any measurement were unsuccessful, there is the option to manually perform each test. 
return to the CRT Toolkit screen and press the Perform Manual Testing button. When the test is complete, optimized AV and VDV delays will be shown on the screen. Only in the presence of a healthcare provider or certified Abbott employee, these optimal values can be programmed by pressing the green Program Optimal Values button. Optionally, to perform each test manually, press the Perform Manual Testing button. Additional tools are available in the CRT Toolkit depending on the model of the device implanted. The Auto VectSelect Quartet Test can automatically measure the RV to LV conduction times as well as capture thresholds for multiple LV lead pacing vectors. Multi-vector tools allow the user to check for phrenic nerve stimulation in multiple LV pacing vectors. If this testing is desired, it is recommended that the user contact the local certified Abbott representative. Step five, evaluate stored EGMs. For CRTP devices, press the episodes tab on the right-hand side of the screen to open a list of recorded episodes. The episode directory screen will appear, listing all episodes recorded by the device since it was last cleared. Any episode that has an accompanying recorded EGM will be noted by this icon. Choose the episode to be evaluated by clicking on that episode in the list. The stored EGM will open on the screen and include all relevant episode data, date, time, type, and duration. You can choose to print this episode now by pressing the blue print button at the lower right of the screen. You can also select this episode to be printed later when you're finished with the interrogation by checking the select episode for printing box at the bottom of the screen. Note that certain episodes will be pre-selected for printing. Press X to close the screen. Repeat these steps for all relevant episodes listed. Choose the Logs tab at the top of the screen to review the total counts for each episode trigger type. For CRTD devices, press the Episodes tab on the right-hand side of the screen to open a list of recorded episodes. The VTVF episode screen will appear, listing all VT, VF, SVT, and NSVT episodes recorded by the device since it was last cleared. Any episode that has an accompanying recorded EGM will be noted by this icon. Choose the episode to be evaluated by clicking on that episode in the list. The stored EGM will open on the screen and include all relevant episode data date, time, duration, device diagnosis of the rhythm, time to diagnosis, cycle length, therapy received, results of therapy, charge time, high voltage lead impedance, and delivered pulse width. You can also select this episode to be printed later when you are finished with the interrogation by checking the select episode for printing box at the bottom of the screen. Note that certain episodes will be pre-selected for printing. Press X to close the screen. Repeat these steps for all relevant episodes listed. Choose the Other Episodes tab at the top of the screen to review all other types of episodes recorded by the device. These include ATAF detection, AMS, noise reversion, PMT, magnet response, morphology template update, emergency shock, non-sustained RV oversensing. Any episode that has an accompanying recorded EGM will be noted by this icon. Choose the episode to be evaluated by clicking on that episode in the list. The stored EGM will open on the screen and include all relevant episode data, date, time, duration, and type. You can choose to print this episode now by pressing the blue print button at the lower right of the screen. You can also select this episode to be printed later when you are finished with the interrogation by checking the select episode for printing box at the bottom of the screen. Note that certain episodes will be pre-selected for printing. Press X to close the screen. Repeat these steps for all relevant episodes listed. Press the episode tree tab at the top of the screen for a graphic summary of new tachycardia episodes. 
The graphic displays the number of episodes recorded in each tachycardia detection zone, therapy delivered, and whether the therapy was successful or unsuccessful. Stored EGMs can be viewed from this screen by pressing the EGM icon. Press the Logs and Summaries tab at the top of the screen. Here you can view the total counts of each episode trigger. Step 6. Evaluate Device Diagnostics. Press the Diagnostics tab on the right-hand side of the screen. The Rates tab will appear first. Evaluate the atrial heart rate histogram on the left side of the screen. Evaluate a bar graph of the pacing percentages on the right side of the screen. This graph will also show the PVC burden percentage. Press the Conduction tab at the top of the screen. Evaluate the ventricular heart rate histogram. Press the Mode Switch tab at the top of the screen. Evaluate the ATAF burden, AMS summary, and ventricular rates during AMS. The AMS log will list all Mode Switch episodes stored in the device. The log contains five columns, date, time, peak rate, duration, and EGM availability. To change the sort order of any of these columns, select the button at the top of the desired column. Sorting by duration is recommended to allow easy determination of the longest and shortest episode. Press the Impedance Monitoring tab to evaluate up to one year of thoracic impedance measurements. Note that data will only appear here if CoreView Thoracic Impedance Monitoring has been previously programmed to ON. Zooming in or out allows for evaluation of one year, three months, or one month worth of data. Refer to the legend on the right side of the screen to assist in CoreView Thoracic Impedance Monitoring graph interpretation. Press the Exercise Activity tab at the top of the screen. Evaluate the patient's activity levels if necessary. Step 7. Review Programmed Parameters Press the Parameters tab on the right-hand side of the screen. The Brady tab will appear first. All pricing parameters will be viewed or changed here. Press the Tacky tab at the top of the screen. All Tacky detection and treatment parameters can be viewed or changed here, if CRTD. Press the Alert Notification tab at the top of the screen. Here you can review the program settings for fast path summary alerts and patient notification alerts. Press the Diagnostic Settings tab at the top of the screen. Here you can review or change the program settings for CoreView Thoracic Impedance Monitoring. Step 8. Print Reports and Clear Diagnostics. Press the Wrap-Up Overview tab on the right-hand side of the screen. Note the box labeled Programming Changes Made This Session. If you did not intend to make any permanent programming changes, be sure this box is empty. Press Selected Reports to choose which reports you would like to print. Note that any episode selected for printing earlier will be automatically selected here. Press the green Print button to print reports. You can change the printing output to Internal Printer external printer, PDF report, in the settings tab at the top of the screen. If you need to save a PDF of the report, click PDF reports available and choose exports most recent. Press X to return to the wrap up overview screen. Press the green clear diagnostics button to clear device diagnostics and stored episodes. The what do you want to clear screen will appear. Check the appropriate boxes to permanently clear information from the device. Press the green Clear Selected button. If you need to export reports for EMR uploading, press the Export button on the lower right of the screen. For most EMR software, you will need to choose the PC Database Export option. Step 9. End Session. Press the blue End Session button at the bottom of the screen to complete your interrogation. I hope you have found this video to be helpful. If you experience any difficulty, please contact Technical Services at 
3423 or your local Abbott representative.